Hello, beautiful souls. How are you today? It is 420. I think you know what that means. Some people don't. If you know, you know, right? Um, I have quite the episode to give you today. Um, it started out, honestly, it, it pieces of it came through, um, before the end of last year, when I connected to um, Pocahontas, who is a prior life stream of mine. And as some of that information came through, um, you know, the message in the moment made sense, but also going forward, more came through. And then other beings um, connected with me that had more to add. And um, completely different conversations took place, but still more corroboration. And then I started getting some downloads recently and um, connecting some dots, which is what I do, and um, confirming some things that I had a hunch about. And so uh, it, it's come together now in quite the story, quite the story. So uh, please join me as we dive in to how significant the Ute tribe is to humanity. Okay, I am already dealing with some issues. Uh, I have plenty of protections in place. And um, so I may have to pause every now and again to, to fine tune my protections. Because as usual, when I start to deliver this disclosure, um, there's lots of beings that would rather it remain a secret. And that's just not how I roll. So the download started coming in to me about the information I'm going to share. Um, some of it I pulled from prior channelings with Pocahontas, but the bulk of it came in uh, just a couple of weeks ago. I was watching, kind of halfway watching, you know, I had it in, on in the background kind of a deal. Um, Secrets of Skinwalker Ranch, which I have no ties to. They don't sponsor me in any way. It's just a video, it's just a show I was watching. I've watched it for years. I think I've probably seen all the episodes, but it, it's kind of like Ancient Aliens. I just put it on and I let it play. And every now and again, something jumps out at me that I'm sure I've heard before, but it wasn't at the the right time for me to pick up on it. So the other day, they were speaking about the the legend, the current legend in the Uinta Basin about why that land area is believed to be cursed by skinwalkers and how that came about. And so uh, the current story that it is being passed on um, through the tribes is that a long time ago, like 1800s, the Utes were treating the Navajo like slaves. They, they, the story is that they went from a partnership and a collaboration of tribes to the Utes treating the Navajo like slaves. And that the Navajo rose up and fought and cursed the land with skinwalkers forevermore. Now, I've heard it before. I have. And, and like I said before, I'll hear things and then I hear it again. And that's the time that I need to pick up on stuff, right? So I heard it and I thought 
that's inverted. That's that's backwards because I already, you know, had some other things fresh in my mind about what was really happening over the landmass that we call the United States of America in that time frame and how much carnage was taking place. And so I just immediately knew that that was an inverted truth, another inverted truth, right? So I remember uh, Gran, who is White Buffalo Calf Woman, saying that um, my past life, Pocahontas, um, that in that time, tribes uh, feared many other tribes because they had um, they had joined forces with the soldiers because they thought in the long run it would benefit them. And uh, some tribes just didn't have the numbers to fight them. And so they joined them kind of a thing. And that um, tribes that we know about in this now time, like in, in like going to school history wise and what we're taught, the tribes that were taught that were savages. I don't like to use that word, but that's what we're taught. Were in fact, 100% good. Well, I guess 99.9% .9 good because nothing's 100%, right? That source creator. Um, and that the ones that are pushed down our throat as being benevolent, we're not, which is just like everything else, right? So, I thought, the other thing I thought, which I had thought of it before, but I never got as many downloads as I did the other day. As a nurse, and years I worked labor delivery, um, when I heard the oots, I thought about uterus, and I thought seeding life, and I thought seeding the planet, and then I thought, oh, well, that would be why they are hunted because their galactic root race that volunteered to come down to this planet in this dimension and help seed it, seed life, AKA uterus, AKA oots, to, to uh, introduce more higher consciousness beings to the planet. And so then I recall that that was the agreement with the Hathors, that the Hathors agreed to lower their frequency and not all of them, some of them, and agreed to live on the surface of this planet to help um, seed life to bring forth and also help correct the manipulated DNA that had left us up to that point, a slave race that didn't have any ability to ascend. Basically what, what manipulated our DNA a long time ago into the slave race is the Anunnaki, they created that problem. And the Galactic Federation and the Galactic Alliance is like, this is not okay. You created an entire race of people that you basically built to not be able to ascend. They're going to constantly be in a reincarnation loop of slavery. And that's not okay. That's against universal law. So they put the call out to benevolent space races and asked them to, number one, donate some of their higher consciousness DNA to a DNA blueprint that could help uh, allow the beings on the planet to ascend naturally. Because ascension is just a rising frequency that helps to further activate dormant DNA codes written in your blueprint. And each race is supposed to have um, the ability to do that. And it had been manipulated and taken out when the Anunnaki created the slave race because they didn't want those beings ascending out of their um, 
their pool of, of workers. So very, very long time ago, the Hath, some of the Hathors agreed to come and seed humanity to give it a, an, a higher consciousness ability to ascend through the DNA blueprint and 12 galactic, 12 benevolent galactic races um, supplied each of them supplied a piece of that benevolent DNA upgrade. So all of this came together in a very short period of time. And I thought, wow, how, un how unfair is that? That these beautiful beings that agreed to leave their very safe and completely um, benevolent dimension that they were in dropped down to the lower duality dimension that that we're in that we were in and try to survive while also trying to correct some wrongs and and give humanity on a whole an opportunity to ascend and they get thanked by being hunted which is exactly what was happening. So some other prior uh, downloads were, um, they, the Pocahontas confirmed something that we, she and I, like Nicole in this life and Pocahontas prior life at, that I channeled, um, she confirmed that the Utes are just pure goodness, that they were hunted relentlessly and the goal was genocide. The goal was um, extinction for them and that they took refuge in inner earth and that uh, their stories and their reputation has been disparaged because just like uh, the divine feminine, uh, just like the, the truth about the role that the galactics have played in our history, um, just like everything else, it has been manipulated to sell a story that they want us to believe. 11, 11 on the clock. So that's when I downloaded that the Navajo joined the soldiers at the time. Now they all, they, they worked with, uh, they worked with red coats, but they also worked with the union and Confederate soldiers, mostly the union. Um, in hunting the light beings all over the United States. So they turned on their own people and they were hunting their own people. Um, probably out of self-preservation, but a lot of them had also been turned into, um, you know, vampire hunters themselves. Um, let me rephrase that not hunting vampires. They had been turned into vampires who were soldiers who were given marching orders to go hunt light beings. This was a thing. And I guess when given that option, that seemed like the better option for them. So this is when uh grand white buffalo calf woman said, this is the time, like now is the time that the true story of the Utes need to be told. They want their truth shared. Some of it had come to me, like I said, last year, but it was in such small uh, pieces that I didn't recognize it as a as a, an avenue of truth for them specifically. Um, so I asked for Inner Earth to send me um, a contact that I could... Uh, fill in some of the the questions that I had about this these downloads that I was getting and so this is the uh, channeled conversation that I had with Une and an inner earth female that stepped forward with some information Une the Oots I'm gonna check my microphone yeah the Utes have been hunted to near extinction. Their tribe has been top of the list to be hunted by people you call the elites. Also the government, the presidents, and Catholics. 
One in particular named Cheney in Wyoming is evil, pure evil. You see the Oot peoples are all a magnificent magical bloodline. And since taking refuge inside inner earth, they have thrived with population growth. And I'm going to stop right there. I looked up today what average population is. Okay, there. Keep messing with me. All right. So I look back in search engine just to see kind of what it's, what's the average population right now of that tribe in America. And it's right around 3,000. And I thought that had to be a wrong number, but it's not. 3,000 members. And that's not a big number in my mind. Um, half of them live on reservations reservation land, the Uinta and Ure reservation in Northeast Utah is about 150 miles east of Salt Lake City. The area is known as the Uinta Basin. That is the area where Skinwalker Ranch is located. And it is the second largest reservation in the United States. It covers four and a half million acres. So since the Utes, at the back in the day, oots, 1800s oots, uh, went inner earth, they have thrived because they've not been hunted and they've not been dealing with the, the surface wars. And um, one second. I'm gonna get through this, I promise. Okay, Let's see if we can actually get through this, right? So um, the the population in inner Earth is much, much larger than let me ask real quick. Nay, what is the population currently in inner Earth? Um, well over a million, well over a million. So they are super, super su successful as a race, uh, much more so there than here. Um, so my question to Une, are the Utes an original root race from the Galactics? Une, yes, from another gal galaxy in the Milky Way. Question, I believe the beings we knew as Dick Cheney is slash was the newer body for the hybrid vampire werewolf we know or knew as Teddy Roosevelt. Une, yes, they are the same being shapeshifted to look different. Now I'm going to pause here. I have a... Founding Fathers video on Teddy Roosevelt. You should check that out. And then also have a video from Pocahontas. Uh, you can check that out. That's got some information that connects all these a little bit better, painted more complete picture. Um, question or statement that I wanted to get clarified with Une. Pocahontas was the catalyst for the Utes to see the truth of these demons and vampires. Once she saw they intended to continue their bloodthirsty hunting with the intention of eradicating them, she warned the tribes to seek refuge in inner earth. Une. Yes, Pocahontas was very pivotal in this event. She had firsthand knowledge and escaped it. She spoke with tribal chiefs and elders of all indigenous and galactic races. She helped protect the most important tribes and bloodlines. <clears throat> and Une continues, I believe your word is genocide. This war on a scale 
that the universe galaxy had never seen. That's why they sent certain light beings throughout history to warn us, not to save us. Only if events became detrimental to future generations, that's when other beings of light would be allowed to intervene. And this is the same universal law um, that really governs non-interference by the Galactic Alliance and the Galactic Federation. They take very seriously of not impeding on, on a being's free will choice. Um, but they they do intervene for the greater good at times, very specific times. Okay, uh, question. Were the tribes invited to enter Earth or did they find it through visions, downloads, and abilities? Une, they were invited to the safe place and it was inner earth. They didn't know where they were going, apparently. They were invited, we have a safe place for you, come with us, kind of a thing. And they ended up inner earth. Now, I will tell you what I know about inner earth, and that is you're not invited unless you have a higher consciousness frequency um, because they are a higher consciousness population. And they do not deal with the, the duality mess that we deal with on the scale that we deal with it. Are they 100% good? No. Are there good and bad in all races? Yes. But uh, a being has to be um, definitely in alignment to source creator and really stay in the unity consciousness um, to be invited to inner earth. Are they, they cannot be there just like any other it would be a frequency mismatch and it would not work. Um, okay, so this information came from uh, Pocahontas. The po it's in, in the Pocahontas video. It's just a piece of it. Um, she, me in my prior life, liked, likes to be called Poco. Poco spoke of the multi-dimensional multi races that live together peacefully. The blue people were walking with various tribes until fleeing to inner earth due to being hunted into extinction at a inhumane level. I did not know when she shared this with me, um, this information about the Utes. This, this uh, information from Pocahontas came last fall. There are lost tribes that will return to Hunamatea. Hunamatea is the the name of the soul for new earth. There are lost tribes that will return to Hunamatea at the at this event, the leaders of Hunamatea will return the land to all people as a peace offering to all tribes and humanity. Which is amazing because the land, I mean I've had this issue for a long time. Land, uh, an individual can own their land. That's fine. Government land that they just fence off and decide that you can't go there without paying an admission. Um, uh, they just keep everyone out except for other government people. It seems to be rather backwards to me. Um, by and large, most citizens of this country are not destroying land. By and large, the, the beings that are destroying the land are the government. So I do take issue with that. Uh, Poco, the stories of this his story, his story, are almost 100% inverted. To see our truth is to see your truth. Mirror, which I believe is something that has been used lately to describe discovered secrets. The same oppressive heinous acts brought upon us is used on you now. To know my story is to know your story. The truth, my truth is your truth. This moment ends the darkness with powerful light guardians who have learned well how to defeat them. 
I'm going to now read a channeled message from Pocahontas, start to finish. I am Poco. Your consciousness is beginning to recall the waking dream of my life stream. I am pleased to connect with you now. The Hathors were and are a higher dimensional root race where humanity was conceived. These extremely benevolent people were ascended beyond form and resided in the ninth dimension, mostly. When Source and Mother Sophia asked them to intervene with the humans, <clears throat> who was formed into a slave race by negative galactic races. They, the Hathors, agreed to collaborate, collaborate with all benevolent galactic races and gift the human blueprint <clears throat> to allow for ascension. Many races are created to not allow for ascension. You see, this is your way, your waking dream with the organic portals and the NPCs. This was the original intention for humans. What a dark planet this would be without the sacrifices of the Hathors. <clears throat> the bright lights and unity consciousness of the races who for eons lived in peace and harmony threatened the divisive agendas of top leaders of your planet. They only saw success with war, bloodshed, fear, and panic. They attempted genocide of Utes, Paiutes, Lakota, Cherokee, Sioux, Blackfoot, and Algonquin tribes. <clears throat> Their goal was to eradicate the sacred bloodlines of so many races that held the sacred light of prime source creator. The Utes were caught believing they could relate humans, they could relate to the humans as they were creators. But these creatures in human form were pure evil there was no ability to connect spiritually to them. <clears throat> Once the decision to flee surface earth and retreat to inner earth was made, our population had very small numbers. Our consciousness and higher consciousness frequency made inner earth an option for us. It was not an option for many at that time. We found refuge and healing we took our time to get back to a place where we felt we could energetically assist with the collective. <clears throat> it's been a very long time coming, but all these beautiful souls are now strong and have extended our powerful bloodlines. We now are in a position of confidence, power, benevolent light, and we are here and will connect with those who are interested in learning more. And for now. <clears throat> white buffalo calf woman the soul that is that was white buffalo calf woman is my soul grandmother that's why i refer to her as grand she came in after that channeled message with pocahontas which was a prior life of mine and said these tribes have been the most hunted there were some who escaped to the galactics off world. There were so many that, is, that escaped to inner earth, but others weren't so lucky. As a collective, as a human race, there must be a deep cleansing to reconcile from the truth of our past in order to move forward to a brighter, better future. And This is very, very true. I see it, what will come, will come eventually, is um, there will not be enforcement of tribal lands like it is now. There will not be a continued suffering of people, of the human people. Um, the, the division that is occurring the natural division that is occurring is based on frequency. It's based on who's ascending, who can ascend, and who cannot. Um, there are beings that cannot ascend. 
that are the organic portals, the NPCs, and the other creatures that walk this planet. I know it is um, difficult to accept that we're not just a bunch of humans and the known animals that we know on the planet, but that doesn't make it untrue. It is very naive to think that we're the only populated planet in the galaxy, in the universe, in the universe is. So uh, we definitely owe, as a people, we owe ourselves the gift of truth. You see, there's no point in standing on a soapbox if that soapbox is full of lies. You look like an idiot. And the goal of my channel, the goal of my, my mission is to discover truth however it comes. And when it resonates in my soul, when it resonates in other people's soul, when the beings that have lived this life felt so compelled to step forward from the other side and connect with someone who's willing to hear the truth and share it, that means way more to me than a book that was published by a, a Rockefeller or Morgan. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't, but know that our history has been a lot of lies. And in our history, there have been horrible events that humans took place in, both as victim and perpetrator. And to resolve that conflict, people have got to get real within your soul and understand who you are and why you're here. Are you here to raise the collective consciousness? Are you here to, to harm? Are you here in service to others? Are you here in service to self? Why are you here? What is your role? Do you, do you even know? So I hope that you yourself listened to this information. And even if it was one piece that stuck with you, research it. And I don't mean on the popular search engines. I mean, go to a library, try to get the oldest historical reference book that you can find. Every now and again, you can find some really old books in antique shops that are before the purge, I call it. Books from the 1600s, maps from the 1500s, maps from the 1600s. Tell the truth. You can find them. That's a good place to start. Thank you for sticking with me today. There's been lots of messing with my devices and um, I still have to go through the, the chore of editing and uploading. Hopefully this will come out sooner rather than later. I do take it very seriously that, that um, beings like UNA and um, Esmeralda of Inner Earth and Pocahontas and white buffalo calf woman have trusted me with uh, sharing truth to right some wrongs. And I hope that you resonate with some of this and go on your own journey to find truth and right the wrongs in our world. Have a great day.